and then pull it around on the right and the rest of the way through, okay? This is one of the most dangerous roads in the world. Eight platoon rumbles through the chaos of Kandahar City and then Ambush Alley. Some Afghan children wave, some gesture, some throw things. Yeah, yeah there's rocks coming already. Guys like Randy Power and Peter Mitchell have taken this trip before. A few tense, cramped hours heading west. At first in Panjoy, all you see, breathe and feel is dust. The desert seems covered in talcum powder. It's a land of wadis, dry riverbeds, hiding Taliban fighters, natural trenches, like the ones 8 platoon now call home. Half the platoon settles in Strong Point North. Just 1,300 meters away, the rest camp in Strong Point Center. They are assigned to guard the construction of a road which will carve through Panjwa. Paving the dust will make travel more efficient and much safer. But six soldiers have already died defending this road. So if we keep traveling up and down the way it is now with that moon dust, it's very easy for them to plant IEDs. So. The faster we get it built, the faster things will start moving. My IDs to me worry me more than anything. Like, I know I worry about Taliban, but not as much because I know what we got. I know we got labs. I know we got, like, I trust everybody in my platoon, everybody in my company. I know they're good to go. I know we can take them, but, you know, IDs are, those are like unexpected things. IEDs, or improvised explosive devices, aren't their only concern they have to keep a watchful eye. Uh, if we have any suspicions or any ideas about uh, where an uh, enemy may try to push into, uh, we'll uh, push out and try to preempt them. You see it, Dawson? Yeah. Yeah, there's two of them. There's two of them now. <laughs> no way, I see them, I see them. Sergeant Jeeps leads a group, including an interpreter, to question a suspicious family. From a safe distance, they check for suicide bombs, then move closer. Sometimes we are with them, sometimes they are bringing along. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. That's okay. If he just, when he goes to get wood, yeah. just, keep, just keep back a little bit. Uh, Okay. It's alright, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Sound like he was a little upset. Yeah. Was he? Yeah. The yeah, other guy is his brother, I think. Okay. Yeah. Alright, let's head back. Let's just see. Yeah, there's really no front line because, you know, it's guerrilla warfare, but yeah, it's as close as you can get to the enemy. And, reach out and touch them almost. But. Did you know they're probing out there? Oh yeah. Yeah, there's the wadis out there and the great fields. Like, there's probably a guy out in that field we can't even see right now. It's, it's ridiculous, but just gotta kinda stay here and wait for them to pop their head up, I guess. Almost every day they go out on patrol. To 
today they hook up with the ANA, the Afghan National Army. The two strong points meet. Probably that fucking gray putt and basically behind it is going to probably be our right of arc because we can't fire anything down close to Yeah, it. well, you guys are going to lose sight of us once we hit that tree line anyways. It might have to pick us up. So. Okay, so we're good. Yeah. I don't know where you're going. All right, have a good one, right? Yeah, yeah. This is not like the first mission in Spin Boulder. That was somewhat anxious. This is the region where most Canadians have been killed. This confusion of mud huts and grape fields has hidden Taliban before. Pika, just pass to those guys. We're just gonna hop this wall, push extended line until we're fucking centered off on them, and then we'll fuck carry on. just got here, you can see the defensive nightmare it is to attack somewhere like this. They got fucking tunnels and fucking shit all over the place. Trench systems and everything else. Uh, we did notice some of the great putts have piles of brush. They've been finding weapons caches and ammo caches and stuff like that under them. So tomorrow morning we'll discuss future operations. We'll probably go in with some engineer assets back to those great putts. Turn the brush over, light it on fire, see what cooks off. Kind of stuff. Soldiers in 8th platoon didn't see any Taliban this afternoon. Tomorrow they will. <laughs> 